wish that I could stay in this moment forever so I can hold you in my arms. I will carry you on my shoulders as long as I'm able. Scatter monsters under your bed. Deep in the So it's another beautiful day out here. It is currently 60 degrees. It's a little bit overcast, um, but it's perfect weather to get inside the beehive. We're gonna check out what's going on with the ladies right now. All right, so those of you that haven't been watching, uh, just a quick recap. Last time I got into the hive, uh, there was 10 queen cups which means that they were trying to swarm. There was one that was closed. So there was um, actual larvae in there. And uh, what that usually means is that the old queen takes off before she hatches and the new queen stays in the hive. When the old queen takes off, she takes half of the hive with her and they find a new place to live. And then the new queen will emerge She'll kill off any other queen cups that are in there or any other queens that are emerging, and then she will take over the hive duties. Um, she'll go out and do her mating flight, and then once she does her mating flight, she comes in and she starts her uh, egg laying. And so I'm going to recheck it because of the last visit um, to the hive about a week ago, I had taken out the old comb from an old beehive that I was seeing how well they clean that up. Um, and it was taking a long time. I want my bees to get plenty of nectar um, and pollen and spend less time on trying to clean up an old one and more time building comb. So because of that, I took the old comb out. I put in new um, frames to give them more space and I added a third floor on. So we're gonna check out and see what has happened over a week and what the bees have done. So I know that many of you don't like it when I don't wear a suit. Um, I don't like the suit. It's cumbersome, it's hot. I just feel like um, my calming nature and with my bees being so gentle, I don't really feel it's necessary. I'm gonna go ahead and get into the hive today and um, hopefully they're gentle with me as gentle as I am with them. So we'll see what happens. So I'm spraying off the hive today with some sugar water. Um, I don't like to use smoke. I think it just agitates them a little bit more, especially during the heat. Um, so I just do a little bit of sugar water. It keeps the bees happy trying to clean that off. Um, and I feel like it just occupies them a little bit more while I'm trying to do this inspection. So now that this hive is three frames tall, um, it's a little bit harder for me to get into, so I have to use a little bit of a step stool. So I'm using a, a cinder block just to get up here in the third frame, just so I can kind of check things out. It looks like from looking at this view, not a whole lot of activity has happened on this third frame yet. So this should be quick on this part. Just as I suspected, not a whole lot going on here. The first frame I'm gonna leave outside of the hive. Um, the rest of the frames I'll just put back in systematically as I'm checking through. As I'm looking through these, I'm not seeing a whole lot of change in this third, this third super that I put on. Traditionally, the third super is for honey. Um, I don't want to limit my bees on how big that they're going to grow because essentially I do want my hive to become two so I'm not putting a queen excluder in there which prevents the queen from going into the third and laying um, the brood, the baby bees. So um, for me I'm just going to go ahead and uh, let them build as much as they want up here. 
the uh, third super has not had any change in the past week. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that off and we'll, we'll go down and check out the next one. It looks like there's a lot of activity in there. Traditionally, you wanna put all of your frames back in the order you found them because there's been no change in this um, top area. I'm not worried about that. So I just stuck that frame in the empty spot and that's all I did. And they have super glued that on with the propolis. These are pretty handy. They, they make their own glue. Make it a little hard to get these off sometimes. So I just gently set that one down on top of the lid. Um, and it looks like you can see there's a lot of bees up on here. So we'll check this one out. So the cat has made its way over here. And I think the bees are getting a little worried about the uh, tiny black panther that's over here. Okay, so this first frame that I'm pulling out is being filled out with honey at the top. If you can see the white, that's honey. The rest of it is just comb that they are building. So they are, it's growing. That looks beautiful. I am uh, seeing lots of nectar. If you can look down in the holes, And the bees are currently putting nectar down in those holes. As with before, the first frame I'm gonna just put off here and the rest I'll leave in here and just move. I did double check to make sure there was no queen on any of that frame that I took off. So this one also, they're just building the comb out. They haven't gotten very far. It looks just fine. Um, if you notice that this frame is yellow, um, And the next frame is black. And the only difference with that, beekeepers um, argue about which one's better all the time. Um, the black frames, the nice thing about the black frames are that they are easier for you to see when the queen's laying eggs, or it's easier to see if there's pollen or nectar in there. These bees are very busy on this one building out the comb and also on this side building out the comb. I'm going to just do a quick look and see if there's a queen in there. I don't expect that she would be here because these bees are filling it out with uh, pollen and comb. Now as before you just want to keep your frames in line and by that, put them back the way you found them. The bees get a little agitated when you rearrange their house. So we don't want agitated bees. This is beautiful. So once again, that's honey on the top. They're filling it out um, nicely. The comb has all been built out. They're filling it up nicely with nectar. Let me see if I can get it closer for you guys to see. And once again, because this is honey and nectar, I don't expect to see the queen on here. And I don't. My queen is marked. So with the dark ones, they're easier to see inside. That is honey right here. And then the rest. 
Just as being filled out with nectar and pollen. It's beautiful. So this one, we gotta be a little more careful with because there is brood on this side. That means the queen is laying. Those yellow, dark yellow areas in the center is um, the area that the queen lays her eggs. So I'm looking very carefully on this one just to make sure. Okay, so this is really cool. If you look in those dark black areas, hopefully I'm holding it still enough, you can see eggs and larvae in different stages. So I really would expect to see the queen on this frame or on the next. The queens are notorious for hiding, um, but you usually can find her because she usually has a circle of bees around her that are tending to her hair. Crazy how heavy these hives get, or these frames get with the bees on them. And I'm hoping to find the queen so I can show you guys what the queen looks like. So once again, this one has all sorts of larvae in different stages. I'm going to try to hold it up so you guys can see. Let me just make sure. Close. If you see in those little black areas, you can see the, the larvae. I do not see her on this frame. It's the coolest thing watching the bees. Let me spray this down and show you. It's the coolest thing. Oh, she's gonna fly away. Watching the bees um, lick the sugar water off. This queen is a rock star. There is a ton of brood in the center of that frame. There is a ton of brood in the center of this frame. Honey around the outside. Nectar and pollen, lots of nectar and pollen. If you can look down here in the corner, that is amazing. I am so fascinated by the bees. I don't know about you guys, but this is something I really enjoy. Once again, I'm still not finding the queen. She should be right in this area because there's a ton of space for brood and a lot of new eggs. At the last hive inspection, that's crazy. At the last hive inspection, I took um, and I checkerboarded, which means that you take uh, empty frames and you checkerboard them in between frames that are um, more filled out. And I did that because there was no brood in that area. You don't want to do that when you have baby bees because that really makes them mad. Um, this one, as you can see, they're still filling it out. That's what's nice about the the dark 
um, is it makes it easier for you to see. They have a little bit of wonky comb here. It might, must not have gotten my frames close enough together. So it's a beautiful day and it's supposed to have no rain today, but the clouds are coming in and the bees are starting to get agitated. And bees do not like it when you're in their hive when it's raining. So I'm really hoping I can get through this inspection quickly enough um, that I can. I'm hoping I can get through this inspection quickly enough that I do it before it rains. This one is glued in really well with that propolis. I still haven't named my queen. Um, some people had suggested Beatrice. I am still pondering it. If you have any suggestions, let me know. I may make it a majority rules thing. Now this one is the heaviest frame I've picked up yet. Um, it is completely full of honey, uh, both this side, so this is all capped honey. This is pollen, not capped. Um, so full of, whoops, that makes the bees mad. This is so full of honey on both sides, you can see. Um, my plans are I'm not gonna take honey unless um, it's in excess. I, I want to leave as much as I can for the bees because I plan on splitting this hive at some point um, I wasn't quite ready at the last inspection, um, but this next time I find a queen cap uh, that has um, an actual larvae in it, I'm planning on keeping that and making this hive into two separate hives. And as usual, the outside frames are hardly touched. They're working on it. Uh, they're filling it up, but I can see pretty soon they're going to be wanting to have that third story filled out. So good it's in there and ready to go. For those of you that haven't watched, um, I had a bee climb up my, my nose at one of my previous inspections and instead of just blowing her out, I did the wrong thing and tried to retrieve her and ended up getting stung. So, um, that was not very fun, but if you haven't seen that video, you should watch it. I have it on my uh, bee playlist. Just gently move these all back in place where they were. Without squishing girls. Fun fact, a majority of the bees in a hive are girls. There are drones, which are the male bees. And their only function is to mate with the queen. Um, they do not sting. They don't have stingers on them. They are quite a bit bigger. It's easy to tell the difference between a, a worker bee and a drone. Um, and if I get the opportunity to find one while I'm in here, I will point them out to you. I know a majority of people know this, but for those of you that don't, once a bee stings you, it loses its life. It's unlike that one dive bombing me. Hold on. Anyways, once a bee stings you, it loses its life. It's unlike a wasp. Um, or yellow jacket, which can sting you multiple times. Okay guys, so it just started raining. I have to close the hive up. I'll have to get back in here because the bees are gonna get really agitated now. It is full on coming down. This is crazy. Let me take my gloves off. All 
All right, so we're gonna head out. It is full on raining now. The bees really hate it when that happens. And it seems like every time that I have tried to get into this hive, I've had one issue or another. Um, so the last time the phone overheated, the time before that I didn't have enough storage. Um, I'm not making a very good YouTuber at the moment. Um, hopefully I'll figure this out someday and we'll have to come back a little bit later today when it's not raining. I'm taking refuge in the truck, hoping this storm will clear up um, and I can get back into the hive. But uh, at this moment, I don't think it's a very good idea. Okay, so the storm is getting pretty bad. Um, so I think I'm gonna call it for today. We're gonna have to get back into the hive a different day. The bees are gonna be agitated no matter what I do um, if I try to get back into the hive today. So maybe tomorrow morning we'll get to the bottom box and check things out. I'll have to do that on a different video. Lightning is happening now, so I better, I better go. You guys have a blessed week. Take care. Outside my window Is everything pale and cold Can't seem to pick up my phone It's been ringing all day long Behind this cloud